The day has finally come. Logic Pro finally has a MIDI import selection option on their software instruments. This has only taken 100 years and every other doll has always had it, but I'm not gonna complain because it's finally here. Now I don't have to go into the MIDI environment or I don't have to go to uh, select auto demix. And uh, if you see my other video, if you're not on 10.7 and you're on an older version of Logic, then go look at that. But basically before, if you have multiple input devices, um, they would just all record in on all the channels like you couldn't separate them you had to like put them on different channels and do a bunch of settings and it was super irritating when you should just be able to like every other DAW go in and select your MIDI port and your MIDI channel for the input and it's simple so I've created a software track right here so I hit the plus button and do my software instrument so if you open up the little inspector and then you open up the track data here it is the most amazing thing that's ever happened in logic MIDI import. Uh, you can finally choose a MIDI import. It's so simple, but it's finally there. Um, so you can select the MIDI import. So for me, I'll select uh, network code. So I have an M audio code and it's going through an I connectivity Mio XL and through network. So anyways, it's on my network. It's called code. Uh, and then you can pick the specific channel in. I'm going to leave it at all, but you can see that data is coming in, uh, which is super cool. Let me put a Put the sound on this. Um, sure, let's just go with this. Sorry, I'm reaching a keyboard behind me, so there's not going to be any uh, musical brilliance here. Uh, so that actually works, which is kind of nuts. Uh, that actually works. So that's going to be a fun little part. Um, kind of hung that note a little bit uh, when I switch channels. But you can see my keys, which I'm hitting, are on channel one. Now it's kind of hanging out, so maybe there's a good fix in the future. But um, yeah, it's cool. So we can finally select the port. We can finally select the channel. So if I go to channel four, my keys don't play anymore but my drum pads do because they're on a different channel. Um, so it actually works to separate the gear by channel. It also separates it by port, which finally, it's so simple, but I just want to say it's finally here. Uh, I just took a screenshot of that so people could see it in the portal. Um, but yeah, it's finally here. We don't have to go through all the troubles we used to have to go through. The most simple thing is finally done. Thank you, Apple for doing this. All right. Well, if you have any questions, uh, if you're here and if you're on, uh, if you're not on 10.7 and you don't have this uh, luxury and you're on older versions, uh, check out my other video about how to set up multiple inputs, synths, controllers, etc. Um, and hopefully this uh, helps you out and lets you know where, <laughs> where it is now.